Hi guys, it's Erin, and I have a bunch of stuff on my desk here that I'm going to show you. And um, if you're following along with Creative Chemistry, and I, I know it's over, but it was the whole summer of Creative Chemistry and the class, and all of that stuff with Tim Holtz, um, the one thing you know is that Tim is very good at selling you things. And one of the reasons for that is because, the, you know, he makes good products and they're just quality stuff. But I'm generally immune to that kind of thing. Like, I, I'm not really good on the whole enabler. Like, if I don't want it already, you can't sell it to me. But, um, unless I come up against something that I want to do and I don't have the ability to do that thing. So the, th the thing that I didn't have the ability to do is I had the Distress Stains but I couldn't get them to work in a background the way that I wanted them to. And I really am kind of down on the dilutions lately. I, 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 they're not working the way that I want them to work on projects. And so I've been using my India inks a lot more, but I wanted, this time I wanted something that's water reactive and the India inks, once they dry, they're just not gonna do anything. And the thing that I liked about the Distress inks is that they will they will st they will always react unless you seal them. So you know, whereas I you know he didn't sell me the distress micro glaze because I was able to use the uh, the wax medium thing that I already had, and you know I, I can look up stencils on the internet, so he doesn't sell me all of his all of his stencils. Some of them, but not all of them. Um, so stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, the the distress stains. It was definitely a matter of I had. I had something I wanted to make, but I didn't have the ability to do it with the products I had. So I went and I pretty much bought, basically I bought $60 worth of sprays because they were on sale. And yeah, scrapbook.com had a sale and some of them are the bigger bottles and some of them are the smaller bottles because they don't have the smaller bottles. I probably should have put this in rainbow order for you, but you can see how they fit in my space now. So. I made sure to get the whole array. The only thing I'm not sure is the difference between the fossilized amber and the mustard seed. If I, you know, for my projects, if I need another, another brighter yellow. So I might, I might have to pick that up. I, I had one in my cart and then I took it out because I'm like, no, this is fine. I don't need any more. And then, yeah. You never know, because I always gravitate towards those colors, you know. I mean, if, you, if you've been following my work at all, I always tend to go towards the, you know, the blues, the purples, the, um, the greens. So you can see here, I did get the blues, the purples, and the greens. And I probably need another brighter green. Which I think, yeah, I did, I did order one of those. So I have another brighter green coming. It won't fit in here, so that's going to be a problem. But, And I got the picket fence, and I got the brushed pewter stain. Because the thing that he did was he did that thing with um, the mica sprays and everything. And I don't like gold. I really, really don't like gold to the point where I don't have anything gold. And if I do, I try and alter it because I didn't buy it that way. Um, or And I didn't, I didn't really need the brown. So for the mica spray of, you know, his... It has a silver in there, but then there's two other sprays I don't need for like $10 or whatever. And I just don't want to pay that. So I thought maybe the Distress Spray Stain would sort of work. And it's sort of similar. It's not the same, so I'm not even going to say that it's the same. But for somebody that doesn't want to waste, you know, the extra money, it's good enough. And I have samples of stuff that I've made. I, can, I might as well just move these out of the way because I just want to move. Um... So here's some of the things I've made already. If you were following my Instagram, you're probably following my distress stain journey of, you know, getting these and seeing how cool they are and being able to make the backgrounds that I've been wanting to make and having it not work. And I might, the camera can pick this up because I can move it. That shimmer is the silver. And you can see you can get these little droplets, but also if you do that thing where you blot with a Kleenex, you can get it to spread all over to the point where I blotted this one and then with that same Kleenex and it's actually got shimmer on it. It's harder to see in the camera, but in real life it's got shimmer on it. And what I did to create this was I sprayed each one of these out onto the desk. I sprayed them out. I'm going to have to label these in some way. None of my things are labeled, and he's always like, oh, we'll just go on Ranger's website and print out the thingies, and I can't ever print things out. 
I don't have my printer hooked up. It's either printer or silhouette, and I've been using my silhouette more, so, yeah. <coughs> anyway, so none of my stuff is labeled, and I can't ever find anything. It's like, is this the color? No. Anyway, so I sprayed like that, and I did the I did it on the desk, and then there was a big old oversplash, and so I just misted it with the new mister thing that I got. Again, it was a, a thing between can it make the droplets that I want, you know, the mister I have, and no, it couldn't, so I, I got the, you know, official one. Um, anyway, I misted that, and then I pulled this through, and the mixing of all of these colors made this interesting purplish-violet thing going on here, and then, yeah, I sprayed it with that. And then, again, the same situation of I did three different green colors, and I watered it down and poured, pulled more... <coughs> more paper through it and then ended up with a lighter color which I then you know also sprayed with the mica stuff which you could or not mica the pewter stain which you can see there and then it's the same with the red one I just kept I kept on with the red and the orange and however I liked it and adding water and drying it and all that and then this one didn't work out not all of them work out I just I don't know what happened with that I tried to distress it and I thought eh, I don't know Oops, I bent him. And these guys are colored with um, the crayons and then sprayed in the back. So anyway, the point is I can make the cool backgrounds like I've been trying to do, but, it, you know, they didn't work on the, you know, blah tags that I had and all that, and it didn't work with the sprays, and I didn't like how the delusions mixed together when I didn't want them to, but then didn't mix when I wanted them to, and, yeah, it, it was frustrating. And, of course, the light fast thing bugs me. But, you know, I'll just have to make sure that on canvases I only use the India ink anyway. Because, yeah, it, it, Ranger products are not light fast. They don't have, they're not even rated. So, I mean, there's no way to know for sure how long things are going to last. If you put it up in your house, if it's going to, you know, the only way to protect it is to just put it away in a box and then do, not get any light on it. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the part that's less fun. But, um... But yeah, the other things he sold me <laughs> were, uh, this is the Ideology Thrift Shop Ephemera Pack, which is just, you know, random, yeah, it's hard to tell, random, you know, old-timey ephemera type stuff, which I thought I could spray, and that would be interesting. And then there's this, everything's got, everything's got paint on it, because I was, I was using splashes of paint, and you'll, you'll see the video, but anyway. Um, these are the found relatives, he calls them, where they're like the old-timey photos in little photo strips. So you can use them on tags, you can use them in journals, anything like that. It was just to have photos to play with instead of, you know, me using my photos of me or the kids or something like that because, you know, it doesn't always work with whatever I'm making. Um, so I ordered a couple of things from a couple of places. So I'm going to try and separate it out properly. There we go. So I pre-ordered, everybody probably knows, and you saw you saw the one dog, that they did the most recent release. I can't ever get these to stay in here correctly. Which is why I tend to unmount my stuff. Anyway, you can see I've already used this one and that one and that one. And, um, and that one and that one and that one. So I've already used them, but uh, but that's good because using things is good. <laughs> they made a small dog's version, and then today the big dog's version came. So you can see the difference between the big and the small, how much space they're going to take up. And then, you know, we, we had the cats from a previous release, so they just did the dogs and the cats together. So I thought that was cute. And then this was on clearance at Uzak, so I got this. I did a bunch of pre-order at Uzak, and... <clears throat> And not all the stuff is here yet. It's kind of trickling in. So uh, I think even in the last video it had some stuff from the same order. Um, I got all Halloween stuff from Marker Pop, it, which is the CC Designs release. So this one is Meowloween. Again, with the puns. I hate puns so much. But I love the stamps. They're so cute. And then this one is... It says Halloween things. It won't go down in the thing, but I, I thought they would be cute for like 
something else would be the main image and then you'd know, have one of those in the background or you know even just do a couple of the ghosts or something so I thought those were cute I thought the whole thing was cute. that's why I got the whole release because I just I couldn't pick and choose and everything and they had everything at 20% off a brand new release so okay so these are the cute little people and then you could combine you can combine the two so they kind of they have the same style or same artist I guess and then my favorite, the Roberto's Rascals ones. So you've got the kids dressed up as, um, you've got Mummy, a witch, you've got Dracula, you've got a little bat, a skeleton, and a spider. So cute. Do I need more Halloween stuff? No, I don't, but I can't resist. I really can't. Every time I try, I'm just like, meh. And then this girl's all by herself, so there's no Jack Skellington to go with her, um, obvious Sally, but... You know, it works out. You could pretend that he's like in the moon or something if you make a uh, if you make a scene with him. Um, I did a small order from Simon Says Stamp, so I got that. I got a ticket. This is a Tim Holtz ticket, I think. Stampers Anonymous, anyway. Yeah, it's a Tim Holtz collection. So it's a ticket, you can, you know, stamp it and cut it out or just use it on the backgrounds. And then this I thought it was bigger, but considering it was only $4, I should have known, considering, you know, all their Stampers Anonymous stuff is really expensive. It came with this big old bubble in the back, but I was able to peel the foam off and then re-stick it, which I'll probably just get rid of the foam in general. But I thought, you know, this will work for a background, or you could actually cut out the individual stamps if you wanted. So, I mean, they're small. They would be really small, but... And then I got a, as much as I could from the most recent Clearly Besotted uh, release. They don't always have all the stuff at the same time, which drives me nuts, because then you have to order multiple times and pay for shipping and blah, 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 and it's so annoying. But um, this one is called Bird Bath. So you've got the cute little birds in their bath. This one is Trouble in a Tutu. So you've got little clouds. You've got a little streamer thing, mm. yeah, and you've got all the little different dancing hippos in their um, in their general dancing positions, which I thought was really cute. And I thought it would be cute with one of the like sprayed backgrounds or something, and have them like flying through or something. And then its similar theme is cheerleading pandas, because why not cheerleading pandas? Frankly, I mean, th there's. You don't need to justify cheerleading pandas. <coughs> and that one's called Cheering For You. Okay. This one is called Happy Hugs. And it's a bunch of animals hugging each other. And the great thing about this is you've got the front and the back of the animal. So you can put like that in the front and have them like looking at this, you know, or nothing. But you can put like that in the front and then when they open the card you can show the front of them. Or vice versa, you know. So that's cute. Because that's like very popular now is to do those cutouts and those weird little wobbly things on cards. I don't, I don't know. I haven't made cards in a while, but I, I, I like coloring the things. You can still, you can see when I color something on Instagram. Uh, that whole thirty day coloring challenge. I don't have to make a card. I just color something. Yeah, I've been. I, I did really well with that. Did the whole thirty days. But um, and this one is called Hip Hop Hooray which kind of doesn't relate to the fact that it's Vikings and stuff in any way. Which, oh, that's kind of strange. But it, it, it relates to the sentiment, which, again, I won't use. But um, I like that it has the little thing of mead. It's got the boat. It's got, I love, um, I love the little dog in his hat. Uh, I thought I would do something Skyrim related or, you know, how to train your dragon related. I thought that would be cool. Like, you know, it's got the mountains and you do a dragon or something. But, yeah. So there's that. Um, today from Greeting Farm, I got this is Fun Anya. And again, with the whole clear release, rubber stamp release. Why? Why? Um, so these are the Super Secret Stamp Club releases. And again, I know that the second I buy in the Super Secret Stamp Club, I'm not going to want the stamps. So I just end up paying more for each of them. But at least I know that they're ones that I wanted. So, yeah. Um, so it's not actual size because they're bigger. So yeah, I thought those were super cute. And lastly, I didn't really want to jump on the, you know, coloring board bandwagon because Lord knows everybody's gone crazy with that. 
but I did see this one suggested on Amazon, you know, in my Amazon cart after, you know, looking at all random crafting stuff. And the cool thing about this one is it's 16 designs, it's 8 of them twice, so you can color it different ways. Um, but it's on watercolor paper. Now it's only 180 GSM, which, you know, I'm used to 300, so that's a lot thinner than I'm used to, but if you look at the detail in the, in the, um, in the patterns, it's actually pretty cool. And it's all single-sided, and you can just tear it out of there so you don't have to, you know, sit there with the whole book, and, because it's, it's rather large. I mean, obviously, it's not even fitting in the whole frame. It's a big book. Um... But it has a lot of detail that would help you color with that, and then it kind of lets you go on your own with how you want to do the backgrounds and, and all of that. And see, like, this one is super detailed. That'll take you, like, 60,000 years. And that's generally my problem with coloring books, but I've been in the mood to color flowers, and I know I have a lot of flowers on my own. But this was, like, I want to say $15, which I thought, considering it is printed on watercolor paper and... You do get double the double the prints and everything. I, I figured that was a pretty good deal. And um, so you see, I, I like that one—the big, huge bouquet. And there's little there's little bugs hidden in there, and there's all sorts of different things going on to look at, and you know, focus on. And if you don't want to continue with something or finish it right then, you just move on to another one. And and I thought that was that was pretty cool. So yeah, it's got the eight designs. And then it starts over. So yeah, I think that's um, that's it for now. I have American Craft stuff coming on Monday, but that's a separate video because it's like scrapbooking stuff. And I really have to scrapbook more. I know everybody was really excited when I posted that scrapbooking video because it's been a while, and I'm trying to I'm trying to balance everything out between what I want to make and when and. And a lot of my coloring and stuff is being done in between Dungeons and Elder Scrolls Online, so, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of demanding a lot of my time. And then Fallout 4's new release is going to come out, I'm in the beta, so that's cool, but, um, which is literally all I can tell you. I'm not even sure I can tell you that. But, maybe you'll see this once it's released, it won't matter. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I kind of, trying to separate out my time is weird. I don't know how people with jobs even do this stuff because I don't have a job and I don't have time for anything, frankly. <laughs> Maybe it's all the meds and treatments and stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I think that's, that's all I have to show you. And if you follow me on Instagram or on my blog when I remember to, you know, cross post and all that stuff or on Facebook because Facebook gets things instantly too, uh, you can see things as I make them. So thank you for watching. Bye.